Hello everyone and welcome back to Fellow Hide Gaming and a little bit of Mount and Blade Warband slash Viking Kong Quest. Uh, we're still trying to get enough money slash troops to do what we need to do and that is conquer the world. We should have plenty of food by now. I bought a bunch of food trying to keep my guys from eating all the cheese so I could give it to this lady that we are trying to marry. And oh no, I did it. I hit leave instead of sale. <laughs> yeah, we can come up. Mm, we're at war. Because we joined the merc we joined uh, as a mercenary band, so we are at war. I'm trying to find. I guess that'll work right there. As long as my men move, we're good. Yeah, we're good. And we're getting seven hundred for being a mercenary. That's helping with our costs a lot. And that is why we chose to be a mercenary. Was well, simply for the fact of money, money, money. And I mean, the Kingdom of Northumbria is at war with four factions at the moment, I believe. So we don't really have to worry about much because they're not going to sail and raid and attack yeah they're not gonna do it so we are simply trying our best to just keep making money and the easiest way to do so in my opinion is by trade oh yeah we got a lot of food we got food for days for months Oh, yeah. <gasps> no. Oh, no. We sold to these people already? What? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No more wine. We're slowly but surely gaining ships through uh, attacking Frankish raiders and Viking raiders. It's much better than trying to buy them because they're expensive. Especially that big 90 troop hauler that I got now. Whew. You're going to spend some money if you try to buy one of them. You're going to spend a lot of money. We are go we are going to leisurely make our money and hopefully bring about the destruction and renewal of our own kingdom, the kingdom of Pharisees. There's our boats. Oh, now let's go up here. Our next stop. Oh, oh, no. Please tell me. I didn't mess that up too bad. About right there. Oh, man. Mo City is going to kick in now. That looks good. That looks about where it should be. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. Right mouse clicked instead of left mouse clicked and turned my screen. So hopefully we're back at least enough that we won't notice it because that'll just mess with me so hard. <laughs> and the trading game continues. We're trying to get men. While we're at sea, we can have 
238 due to our ship capacity. Better needs an upgrade though. So you see your skills, my good man. Yep. Go ahead and get your surgery all the way up. It is what will help the most. It will keep our men alive. More than dead. We need to also do our own. Yeah. We're going to put two more points in Power Strike. And that should increase our damage. Oh. Are the likely candidates. This should give us some relation with him. Yeah. It did. Another thing that I've not noticed in uh, Bannerlord. Uh, let's become free of our bonds. It was helping us. But right now, it's not. So what we shall try to do, learn some poems, gather more men, and hopefully attack the city. The kingdom itself. Yeah, we're still making money. It's expensive iron. Mm, that's okay. Because we're not going for iron. 1934. This is what we made. It's what we spent. Oh, we're trying to get more men. Always trying to get more men. We don't have any prisoners. No, I didn't think so. No companions here for us. Unfortunately. Just trying to find Siggy. Yeah, we got the tar. So, hopefully we can make a little bit of a profit on it. On our way down, we are now no longer enemies with the kingdom of Northumbria, so we should be able to sail to their ports, then not attack us, and gather troops, Viking troops. Because that is what we are wanting, some more Vikings. And here we have landed in Edinburgh. Mm. Mm. Ooh, what was that? Give me that back. I want to sell this. And there's our money. <laughs> well... More than what we spent, actually. But potential recruit. Really? Just one guy? That's it? Ugh. I guess the ransom broker is following us. It's because we don't have any prisoners to sell. But once we get enough prisoners to sell, there won't be one in sight at all. We'll never find one. I'm pretty sure they're still mad at me. That's okay, though. Ooh, tell her we will come shortly. We're also looking for a scalid or a poet of some kind. 
in the meat hall to learn some poetry. No. No. Yes. Yes. What you ought to know is that my name is... Yeah. Of... Dal Raita. And that I am a Scot. Oh, you're Scott. <sighs> they are girls. Nope. Hmm. Sell it to for high prices. Yes. Now what I should have done. While that was here. I hit a two, so. We're getting ever closer. Let's see about Jorvik. Let's see if we can get any men from them. You do have to click on land to get a landing point. Aha! They're zero, so we can't get for... Ooh, yes. Twelve more men. Every man matters. Not coming down here to sell, just simply seeking more men. That's what we care about. Travelers and fishers. We do not want any trouble with a good fisherman. We do want 14 more men, though, for sure. Mm hmm. Repair, 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 repair. Right, we shall sail from port, and hopefully the k the city of Dorstad will have some more wine for us. Because if they do, then trade, 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 trade. It's how you make your start in this game the best way. Ugh. We might should have renewed our contract. That's 700 extra pennings taken out of their troop cost was nice oh no 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 I didn't look at the meat hall there are no bards mm. no bards at all Why don't you go out on your bread like the rest of us? Take one week to do it. Well, yay, I'm glad. Because she sure isn't in this place. She's being hidden away. That's fine, though.
Oh, you received my message. How happy I am that you have come. It is good to hear that your intentions are honorable. However, I have resolved only to marry a man of the strongest moral fiber. I would like you to prove yourself more in that regard. Yay. We have to get our relationship up a lot with her. It would seem. Cheap. Ooh, really, really cheap wine is what we like to see. Because if we can sell it for 700, I mean, that's a profit. That, that, that's a hell of a profit. And the jewelry's cheap, too. Oh, 3,900 pennings. And we are about to easily quadruple our money. Quite easily. I didn't see what they were. Travelers. Um. Nope. No picks. Don't want any picks with us. I love the Pictish people. But. We don't want any with us. Any. Any. With us at the moment. Uh, ooh. That is a profit. Now. That is a profit. Crazy. Seven. Oh my. I just want you. To, we bought most of this for like 110, 130, maybe 150 at the most. So we're practically making 600 profit selling it here. 600 pennings profit. I'll leave you to do the math. But that's money. Well spent, in my opinion, it is. Mm. We give them two cases. Two cases. That's all we can give them. The armor, on the other hand, we can give them the other jewelry. I mean, we just by selling these to this goods merchant, we've already made our money back. Almost. I mean, we are, we are literally practically quadrupling our money. We had, before we set sail, we had 2,000. Pennings. Yes. Yeah, a little bit over tripling our money. But money. Money, money, money. No one here worth of note that we want to see. It's a trap.
That's a trap! <laughs> Try and find out who wanted you dead. New quest taken. Reveal assassination plot. Hmm. This is where we shall go. Someone attempted to murder you. You can find out who wanted you dead by meeting the killer's contact. Well, we shall meet them. No. One thing Banner Lord does have on this is by holding down the alt key, you can see persons of interest. We shall have our weapon ready. Just in case. The local leader. In Viking Conquest, you can also get a uh, canine companion, which kind of runs through the enemy and knocks them down a little bit. They can be helpful. If you've never had one before, I highly recommend trying it. That dude looks like he's up to no good. Who the hell are you? What do you want? Questions. I'm not going to answer any questions. And I have no idea who you are. Now I recognize you. I'll answer your questions if you spare my life. I was attacked by some thugs not so long ago. I managed to dispose of the attackers and found a note saying to meet a contact in Trefgob. Both you and I know that you are the contact. Yeah, both you and I know you are that contact. I really don't care about you, but rather need to know who ordered this and why. I'm sorry to hear about your mishap, but I have nothing to tell you. Be gone now. Well, you asked for it. No. You did. You didn't realize who you were messing with. Quest successful. Fine then. Be that way. If you want to die, then die. We killed you. I really would have liked to have known who was trying to gut us. But it's okay. It is okay. We'll figure it out one day or another who it was. More men. Sail from the port. And I would like to thank you all for watching this episode of Viking Conquest. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a subscribe. Yeah, maybe. And I wish you all a good day.